Hi, all. Um, this morning I decided, since we're offering Complete Dragon upgrades, to do a quick little cell phone video to show how um, I swap out the light engines. What I've been using to date is a really nice set of channel lock snap ring pliers. Um, so if you have a pair of these, they work great. Alternatively, um, every Dragon drop-in will come with this uh, 3D printed tool that I made, it basically is like a spanner wrench that replaces the need for um, the snap ring pliers. So what you do is take the head off of your flashlight, set the body aside. <laughs> so this uh, head that I have here is an older style with the spring on it. Um, so in order to remove it, I actually do need the the snap ring pliers, um, just because my tool is designed to work with um, the button style um, drivers. So you unscrew the light engine from, from the head. out of the head. You can see there's an O-ring in there, so that'll stay. There's the lens, there's the optic, and a glow gasket. So with the Wiggins driver, um, with the Dragon, Dragon driver, because of the secondary LEDs, the gasket um, won't get used. Um, but you will transfer over your optic and your lens. And this one is actually um, stuck on, so um, I'm gonna just put a fresh optic on there. Actually, let me set it on the tool. So the tool has um, two tabs that match up with the tabs on the driver and a little um, indentation for the button. That, that's the button that contacts the battery. So you can see here I've lined it up there and there. So that way when I tighten, um, it will go on nicely. Also, one thing that I do that I won't show in the video just because it's a little clumsy is I usually wipe um, with a very with a microfiber towel, wipe the optic down and the lens down with um, isopropyl alcohol. Okay, then I just stacked up the pill, or not the pill, the um, complete light engine. So the complete light engine has the driver, the pill, and the emitter board all as um, one assembly. Set the optic on top of the light engine. Set the lens on top of that. Set the head on top of that, and... Carefully start screwing it on. You should make sure that your O-ring is still in there at this point. You can see the black O-ring right here. Keep screwing it on. The pegs on the tool are holding the light engine. And then now it's snug. Um, I'm going to pick the whole thing up and one thing that I want you to note when you're screwing it in is it doesn't need to be cranked down. I'm just using two fingers and now my fingers are slipping. So, you know, I'm not monster strong. I'm just using two fingers slips a little. Okay. That's tight enough. And the O ring hasn't sort of moved out of place. So now the dragon driver is in, let me test it. So, I'm using the Keep Power uh, batteries from Illumin.com. Okay. So, Amber and then the 219C and then 219C on high. Back to Amber. Um, and it does it in that order because that's how I've actually programmed this particular Dragon 
Dragon Light engine. Normally it goes secondary low, secondary high, then primary is low, medium, high, so five settings. But I like secondary low, and then medium, and then high as my, as my setup. All right, that video, ex including all my explanations, took less than five and a half minutes. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helps you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.